Greedfall is an RPG by Spiders. Other such RPGs you may have heard of are Mars Wars Logs, The Technomancer, Of Orcant Man, or Bound by Flame. That one's really good. Spiders RPGs are fairly interesting and unique. Even if they fly under everyone's radar, they, they got a pretty cool story and they got companions that join you and they, they have different stories and different things they can do in combat. It's really cool. But Greedfall is not cool. Greedfall is literally unplayable. Da 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 da. <laughs> well, I mean, I still did play it and enjoy it and stuff, but then in retrospect, I'm like, wait a moment, that combat was fucking garbage. And I know why it's garbage. Thanks to Joseph Anderson, who has recently made a series on The Witcher. I now know why I hate The Witcher, because the combat is shit, because you press attack and then you don't know which attack he's gonna do, and enemies have the ability to parry you, no matter where you hit them, and they, they also attack really fast, and it's just garbage gameplay altogether, and that's The Witcher, and sadly they've imported that into Greedfall 2. Now it's not as bad as being a witch, and nothing is as bad as the gameplay of witch, let's, let's be honest here, but it's close, because in Greedfall you have other gameplay styles, which means you can use a pistol, or you can use magic, and you can use traps. I used to love traps in the Technomancer, it was so rewarding to, to just lay down a trap and then the enemies run into it, but god fuck Greedfall! You put down a trap? Nope! You're not Enemies, they don't walk into it. Enemies, you think they walk towards you? <laughs> no, you, you fool! You think enemies walk towards you? No, they leap towards you and then you, they instantly hit you already before, it's, before you even see it. And then they, they don't even hit the trap most of the time. That's what I want to see, right? Because the trap circle is so small. It, it doesn't activate at all until, until they, they literally go in the center of it. Useless! In, in the Technomancer they activate it if they go near the trap and that was good. Ugh. And then Greedfall... Well, I, I chose the pistol, which I guess it's, it's too bad. I guess you don't really have to aim it, it just always hits and it's really good. And I, at first it's like, yeah, it uses a ammo. Ammo is scarce. This is a valid place though. But then... Well... It's it's a RPG by spoilers, and that means that there's way too much combat all the fucking time, which means that you're gonna be super rich all the fucking time, because there's a million pieces of loot, because you have to kill a million enemies. I mean, unless you just walk by them, I guess you can do that. That's not me usually. I usually kill the enemies. <laughs> and that means that I got so rich and I, had, and I was able to craft so many bullets, uh, I had no trouble, and then I found better and better pistols. There's, there are some pistols that have, that have up to six barrels. There's revolvers too, but whatever. Uh, and then you can shoot six times in a row, and then it takes one second to reload. Oh boy, I'm, I'm sure you're gonna have to put up with the shitty melee combat now, aren't I? And the game doesn't even have a reliable dodge roll. You unlock the dodge roll. Not even all characters have a dodge roll. Are you serious? And then. You unlock it and you have to double press dodge. Are you serious? What, why would you mess with a perfectly good dodge mechanic by making it so that you have to double press it? In, in Technomancer you just have a dodge roll and you can run in combat and it is good. In, in Greedfall it's all the same button. Well, I guess it was... This, no, it's a different button in, in Technomancer. And that was good. But in Greedfall running and dodging and rolling are the same fucking button. Are you fucking kidding me? That means you can't run in combat. That means you can't roll when you need to. I mean, I guess you, you should be able to, but but you really can't. Yeah, that's why I fucking hate the combat of Greedfall. Not that it bothered me, because I just spammed them with bullets and it was fine. Bullets and grenades. Later you replace your traps with grenades. I would have had traps that have a proper hit detection if enemies are near them, but no, I guess now I just have grenades. They're expensive too, but they deal so much damage. Oh yeah. Too bad that's pretty bad combat. I mean, sure, it's fun, like the first time when you walk into a room full of enemies and then boom, grenades, explosions, everyone's dead. But then, I mean, doing it all the time is kind of lame. 
and then you try to, to do the melee combat and then you realize the melee combat is a piece of shit because the enemies parry you without any warning and they even parry your bullets sometimes but whatever and and then they they hit you really well sometimes they even stun you when they parry you and you constantly get stun locked it's such a stupid combat I hate the combat so much which is too bad because I really like Greedfall otherwise I mean to some extent the story is cool I really like the characters interacting with everyone I was like yeah I'm gonna be the big colonial guy I'm gonna I'm gonna colonize these natives and then you get to the part where you have to choose who's gonna be the king of the natives and then I pick the warmonger because I'm, I'm like yeah I'm gonna have a war with these natives they're gonna they're gonna go to war she tells you by the way she tells you I'm the warmonger I will I will kill the colonials and then you're like yeah sure you will and then she says but you you have to choose if you're on our side or theirs and then I'm like yeah I'm gonna choose you and then I'm kick I'm gonna kick your ass it's gonna be your fault because you're a warmonger nope N not so because the ending is just like one big baddie and then that's the end of the game and then whoever you chose wins what how do you win how do you kill the colonialists with fucking sticks and stones? They have guns! And guns are OP as fuck in this game! What the hell? How could you kill them? How could you be the winner? How did that work? Ugh, madness. The whole game, it's all like, oh, the, the colonialists, they're so bad, they, they destroy the world. They, that's why they got the plague, because the world is sick. And nature is the one true god. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was pretty fun anyways. I just wish there was more options to be the bad guy. Oh well. I mean, in the end it tells you, do you want to be the bad guy? And then you, you, you say yes, and then it says, you were real bad, the end. What? <laughs> this isn't the colonialism simulator I wanted. <laughs> I wanted to exploit these natives. <laughs> Oh boy, that, that's what you get. You play Spider's RPG, and then it's like, yeah, I'm gonna be the bad guy. Uh, even the Technomancer one, where, where it's like the Nazis, but they use hammers instead of a swastika. Ooh, so subtle. And then, oh no, I guess they, they hate me now. I oh, guess I got no choice but to join the rebellion. Like, then I'll, I'll be ba uh, I'll be the good guy. Oh. Hmm. I started out as a Nazi and then I end up being the hero in the end. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> no options to be real bad, I guess. Despite all the moral choices. But I, I shouldn't be like that. They, there's a lot of moral choices that are actually really fun in the game. And they, they have real consequences, I guess. It just... I, I guess it's too bad. There was so much grind and then the end is fairly anticlimactic. But I guess that's every RPG by SPIDERS! Anyways, let's talk about the combat some more. So the entire world is just littered with these really large animals, fantasy creature animals. Like one of them looks like a, a, a shark bull. One of them is like a bear boar. <laughs> Whatever, they're, I guess they're real stupid mixes. They're all basically like the same thing. They're just like one big pile of animal, essentially and then they move way too fast and it's way too hard to parry them and you don't have a proper roll button and all you can do is parry but the parry only works for like a single second or however long uh, you can spam it but that's fucking stupid what is this Sekiro? <laughs> why is there no shields? I guess that makes sense even though it'd be the best if I just had a shield and, uh, and a pistol but whatever I, I guess it makes sense Colonial only gonna have a sword no shield yeah, I guess that could be good Sadly, it doesn't play well, because you, you you have to press parry at the right time, but then you don't get to, because the animations of the enemies don't have any wind-up. They just hit you out and over, and then they, they bounce all over the place, and somehow I never feel like I see them properly. Maybe the lock-on makes it so that the character's in front of the enemy too much, so I don't actually see the enemy enough. And the big creatures, god, they're so bad. There's ones that have a charge attack, and that charge attack hits you like once, but they still keep running at you. Even if you've if you've been knocked down and, and it didn't hit you, but they still run it run into you, even though they don't have a chance of hitting you, but then you're gonna roll out of the way because you think they're gonna hit you. Oh god, it's so fucking bad. And there's one armadillo type enemy that rolls into a a wheel, 
and then they they come at you. But what the hell? How are you so bad at this? Why would you have an enemy like that and then just make it so that he can do that within one second? No wind up, really. He just becomes a wheel and runs at you and hits you in the very same second. Are you kidding me? If, if they do that, then there should be wind up and then there should be a cooldown. When they hit something, they should probably, I don't know, like get stunned for a little while after they've hit a wall as a wheel. Why is it all so bad? And I guess it was all too easy to begin with because of the pistols. I set it too hard and I guess I would get end up getting instant killed every once in a while. No, not instant. It still takes two hits to kill you. Oh god, and the balance was so bad. Like, every once in a while you go forward into a new region and then the enemies are super deadly. Some of them might even instant kill you if you're low level. Holy shit. And then later on you, you get to different areas and everything's real easy. Some of the enemies just die in like two hits. Are you kidding me? What? Why is balance so fucking hard? Why don't you just make it so you don't become like ten times more powerful with every two levels? How about that, huh? Why do RPGs always have to be like this? I mean, I guess it isn't usually as much of a problem. It only really shows when you have a really bad combat system like this one, where, it, where you can tell, oh, this enemy's way too hard, this enemy's way too easy, and they're not even that far apart. And then there's, there's enemies in front of the boss that have a tail that can hit you, like, at all times, and there's no wind-up. Oh, cool. And then you fight the boss. Oh, the boss is not even that hard, because he has, like, three attacks, and he's he's not even... He, he's so big, he will have to have some wind-up. Oh wow, so we should get done more enemies that actually have that kind of combat. Oh, well, that's too bad. That was the final boss after like 20, 30 hours. Yeah, I played that game for a while, huh? Well, conveniently, Greedfall also has the positive attributes of most spider games. Where you have the characters that join you, and then, well, they, you, you meet them in under cool circumstances. And they, each one of them is from a different faction, and then they, if you do quests for that faction, and you have those characters with you, they'll, they'll tell you some secret tricks, and they all have different combat, and, and stuff like that, and that's pretty sweet. Like Jim Sterling said, they, they constantly say the same lines though, so that's kinda annoying, even though it didn't bother me as much. <laughs> Well, I guess you switch out your characters and then they'll, they, they'll say different things because they're different characters, haha. <laughs> but then I always ended up having Pocahontas with me because she, she knew all the natives and like half the quests are native. And I, I wanted her to come along so I can kill her people in front of her. But then I I was I fell in love with her and then I, I ended up betraying my own people and then I, I sided with her in the end. Oh no. <laughs> Damn you, Disney stuff. There's no actual romance option with her though. I think there's some romance option with someone else but I didn't get to it. Oh well. And also for some reason your character is like cursed by some tree bark in, his, in her face. I guess you can be male or female. And then you meet Pocahontas and she also has tree bark. Oh. And then your, your brother's like, oh you look very much like her. Isn't that weird? Uh, oh no! Uh, maybe no spoilers in that part, but then uh, it turns out, oh, Pocahontas can actually summon roots from the ground. Cool. How do I uh, awaken my, my weird tree powers? And then when she when she does that, she, she grows like antlers from branches out, out of her head, and that's pretty cool. I want to do that. In, in Bound by Flame, you can become a demon by the end, because you're, you're somehow infused with demonic powers. And so I'm like, yeah, are we going to have this in Greedfall? Can't wait to awaken my latent tree powers. Mm. That, that'll fix this weird combat, won't it? I'll, I'll just root them in place, huh? Try leaping at me now. Nope. Y you wish you, you wish there was this. Nope, not this time. This time it, it doesn't do anything until the end where it says you want to become evil. And then you say yes. And then, oh, guess you your tree powers destroyed the world somehow. Oops. Guess you're real bad at the end. <laughs> But I didn't get to use them! I didn't get to use my tree powers in combat! Ah, oh, in Bound by Flame you get visited by a demon and then he gradually reveals your demonic powers and if you enter the pact with him then it makes the game easier but then in the end you, you have less good ending options. And that was cool! And also your your armor catches on fire and, and you look real demonic. Why can't I look like a tree? All she has is that stupid bark in her in her face that makes her ugly 
She would have been really cute otherwise. Uh, she probably would have been more cute if she had become like full tree or something. Well, maybe not. There's like some some crazy tree women with giant breasts and they're real disgusting. <laughs> you fight them a lot. And you're like, yeah, I can't wait to become that even if it's disgusting. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you're just human the entire time. I guess it was all for naught. <laughs> oh no. Anyways, in Greedfall you play as a legate, which means you're a diplomat. You go from one area to another, you, you speak to the chieftain or the, the governor of, of each place. And I actually really like that. People think like, oh, that seems boring and it's a real slow burn, but I think it was really fun. Uh, well, I mean, it was definitely a better part of the game, being able to talk to all the people. Except for the natives, I really hate their fake up made the made up stupid accent. Oh god, it sounds so stupid. Weak. Might I ask you to watch over our own Siora? <laughs> Put on some kind of Irish Scottish and also some other made up language? Oh no. That's real weird. I might, why do they say oi instead of I? <sighs> it's so annoying. How would they get that idea? Well, whatever, I guess. I mean, it really makes that part of the game of having to talk to them. I usually just skip through what they say because they're so annoying. It's the same problem with Pocahontas. I didn't even like her. She, she has the same stupid accent and all the time she scolds me because, because any other of the colonial people have done something bad. Oh no! Like, like you never do anything wrong, natives. Okay. I guess not. I guess you're always holier than thou and in tune with your tree powers. Sure wish I could have those. Maybe, maybe then I'll be more happy too if I had tree powers. <laughs> Alright, spoiler alert! SPOILER <laughs> ALERT! <laughs> By spiders. Alright, so in the end you fight the final boss and the final boss is controlled by your cousin, which is one of my favorite characters in the game. Oh, guess he's evil now and mad. Ah, oh, damn. That's kind of lame. You couldn't have come up with something more interesting. I guess not, considering that everything is is really based on your story, so you couldn't really have had, like, one one villain. Unless it's something who's, like... I, I guess it's he had to be the one, because he was, like, there. And... And he's the only one you can't kill or or make mad at you with your actions. All right, well that's that. He he summoned a big bad boss that you easily kill, and then he offers you that you should join him and become a powerful tree god with him. And hell yeah, I want that. But then it says uh, you you killed her. You, you you're bad, and you didn't help the people on the mainland, and you you. You were bad to the natives too. You're real bad all round. Ah, oh, jeez. How could you possibly think to side with him? Didn't you see that he had black particles around him? You fool! You, you thought the ending was a choice? Ha! You, you think you could just be empowered? No, you you gotta suck up on one of these shit sandwiches that we've made. One of these endings. You can't just... You just can't just take the, the god powers in the end. You, you can't just take the tree powers. Don't you know that there's already a, a benevolent tree power god? A, a big giant tree that speaks to you? Don't you know that he's the only one who who can handle the tree powers? If you handle the tree powers, you get the band ending. Because you're untrustworthy. You just become evil. Because uh, you had black particles. Because your brother, he had the plague. And then he became a tree god to save him his life. And then he became mad. Oh, jeez. Fucking nonsense. The, the other the other ones could handle their tree powers. The other god was fine. Why 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 am I the the, the bad god? You, you needed some proper god. You your god was stupid. I, I came to him asking to have the plague cured, and then he told me that my brother was the plague. He told me that greed was the plague. Like in the title. Greed! Greed is the plague! God damn it! I, I will show you my god, I will be the god of greed! Oh, no, I guess the god of greed is evil and has black particles. And and he will destroy the world and he will not cure the plague. Even though the other god could have cured the plague. Ah, oh, jeez, what a shame. Well, that's what you get in, in a game by spiders. 
you, you make a, a whole lot of cool moral choices and then in the end it, it subverts your expectations because they didn't really matter that much. Oh well. <laughs> that, that's what happens. Alright, subscribe for more Literally Unplayable, where I give games that I actually kind of like some tough love. Yeah, baby.